call the big archive. What you want to do is basically set up a place to archive all of your data as team members move out of your business. And so what that actually looks like is inside your workspace account, we do a little trick and we can help you facilitate this if you like. Most people have a whole bunch of users just sitting in their workspace account that are not being used right. So I'm gonna show you what to do with these and what our process is. You can be assisted by concierge to do this if you like. Otherwise, if you wanna do this yourself, you're also welcome to do this yourself. Let me open up my admin panel and share what we do. So inside your user directory, you'll have all of your different users in the company. And you'll notice here that we have a user called IT Genius Archive. And I recommend you consume one license, it's gonna cost you, but you consume one license as an archive user. And basically we're gonna use this as the bucket to put any of your data that is from previous employees in the business. You may even call it past employees at yourcompany.com. Whatever you wanna call it, it doesn't really matter. And so that archive account is where we're gonna dump everything. You can see ours has got about 50 gigabytes in it. So it's got quite a bit of data sitting in there, but that user is gonna be the place where you put all of the data from everyone when you actually go to delete them. So what does that look like? If I wanna delete a user, sorry, Mick, you're gonna go. I'm gonna go and delete a user. They've left the company, no longer need them. All right, right now their data is not going to be automatically migrated, but I can transfer their, you know, all their documents for everything else, right? So I would choose where to migrate that data to. And if I want to use the archive user, I'll choose archive user. And I go ahead and I archive all of mixed data into that account. Now, if you want to move their email, you can use the inbuilt migrator, but my recommendation is that you don't use this and you instead just get a concierge team to do it. We use third-party tools to do it and a third-party process because there are bugs from time to time in Google's migration tool. But if you do want to do it yourself, you can do it. Just keep in mind that, you know, sometimes it'll bug out or have issues. But basically what we're doing here is when we're deleting a user, Google has licensing for this. You can make use of, I think it's called an archived user SKU where you pay per month to keep old users active. I recommend you just archive them using this process and then it's done. Then you don't have to worry about it anymore. And then all of the data sits nice and neatly in one place. Now, if we wanna access that mailbox, the archive data to go and search for an old email that one of our previous staff sent, how might we access that? But what kind of tools in Google Workspace could we use if we wanted to go into that archive mailbox and read some emails from someone who's left the company. So when you create that archive, you wanna sign into the archive and then delegate it back to your mailbox. So let me share with you what that looks like in my account. So I can open up my Gmail and you can see here, one of my delegated accounts is our company archive. And so myself and a couple of other executives in the business at any point can jump in to that big archive and inside we'll see all of the previous employees email in the company in one place. I can run a search and find whatever I need to find. It's all here in one place. And when we archive it in, we actually, uh, our team actually put it nice and neatly in labels with, with the previous employees email address. And so you can see all the previous employees are here with all of their mail. So there you go. That's where we put all of the archive email and it all basically then lives in one place. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.